Welcome back to more Total War Pharaoh, our Shubilu Luma, Great King of the Hittite campaign. And we are facing our foe Salion out from their settlement, uh, Sapinua. Uh, once we defeat them here, if we can knock out enough of their garrison to completely wipe them out and then just claim their city, or if we just have to then whittle down a much smaller force of their garrison, we will uh, wipe out this faction, which will complete our ambition as well. So we should have quite a nice boost to our resources coming in fairly quickly and also eliminating one of the numerous threats to our rule right now in this civil war which is good so yeah they're selling out from the gates that's fine it was going to be a pretty tough siege uh, i was going to need to bring over my other army anyway uh, order resolve says we'll lose one of the units of javelins and take heavy casualties to the hittite spears and the chariots let's dive on in and smash them Let's do it. Also, apologies if um, I'm coughing or spluttering a little bit in this. Um, it may also sound a little bit different. Um, I'm feeling a bit better than I was when I first started recording this morning, but um, I've got a, a rather, rather nasty sore throat. It's been I've been fighting it off for like a week. I blame Cubheart, as cute as he is. Uh, I've been fighting it off for quite some time and uh, seems to have finally caught up with me. Take all my spears, let's have them over here. They've got reinforcements coming in over that way. Um, yeah, uh, swords all together. That's another group. In fact, I'm going to have the swords over here. Launch line of spears in the center. Axes over on the right. And Shibalu Luma kind of tucked behind that. Chariots, yeah, rush up here. Javelins, support this left side. That looks good to me. Shupalu Luma. Looking fantastic. A little look at this map. Yeah, so here's up to the settlement walls. So this is what we would have been sieging, but they've decided to sally out. I think perhaps this, they knew that we'd be bringing another army over. I mean, I don't know. What, what do you what do you guys think of this scenario? Do you think it's, uh, you know, AI being stupid, or actually kind of they, they're giving it a go? They're trying to they're trying to break out before inevitably they can see I bring up more forces. So they're trying to defeat me while I'm uh, a smaller force. But is that the right choice? Okay, I can see they've got chariots coming in over here, actually. So I'm just going to tip around here. These guys a little bit. I can't see the enemy force right now. Because that's the reinforcements coming straight on in. Or is that... That seems like a lot of them. Coming in from that section. Is that not the them sallying out and they just, just de all deployed in the trees Soon they'll be running scared. I'm confused now amount of reinforcement do they have that many I'm oh, Anatolian totally surely that's the garrison Well, we're going to need to deploy our forces around there a little bit more. With me, man. Move. I mean, if there's garrison and they started in their original deployment, they should be around here. I think this must be the... I think because they knew their reinforcements were coming in over there, they deployed over there, which, which makes sense. Chariots. We go straight into the slingers. With me, men. Go chariots, go. their chariots there hoping they don't charge into mine go 
going for a quick slam into the slingers. Do the damage, do the damage, and get out of there before the infantry. Come on in. This is good because they're, they're, they're swooping in this way. I, think. I, don't, I don't think they're going fully as wide over here because what I'm hoping is we can envelop and then bring the javelins around to face them. I mean, it's not a good idea popping the chariots into the trees, really, but they'll be covered a little bit. Oh, no, they are still going wide. Okay. Where are my javelins? There we go. If or not, then. So what's good against chariots? Javelins, I would, uh, I would say. Right, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Strong of spirit. March, brothers. I'm gonna go for a charge with these guys. Unless you guys hold the line, you're gonna go off my chariots over here, aren't you? Very slow in here. Ooh. Yikes. Okay, they're bogged down though. They're stopped, so get them now. I don't want to send my own chariots around just yet because they could counter on that. Okay, push forward now though. Spears move on forward. Bring the javelins around to the flanks here. Happy days. We fight for Hati! Get the armored skirmishes. Break the spirits. King of Hati. March. Axes. Into position. Careful, careful chariots. Come through the gap. I don't want Shiblu Luma being charged. Triumph awaits. Places men. Ever faithful. Try to keep working on those guys. Go, Javelins, go. You guys hold. Destroy them. With all your might. Start pushing these guys. Victory awaits. Back. I should be able to get these guys back. I could do a, a retreat stance, but I think I can actually just withdraw them enough. Move. Slaughtering those chariots. Good, good, good. Pull these guys through and flank. Pull them around and go for the slingers. Okay, get. Oh, we are really losing those guys there. In you go, chariots. Chase them. Super Luma, get over here. March, Along with these guys. With me, men. Fully envelop and flank that general. That's what we need to try and do here. Bottom chariots. Bring down these one slingers. Uh, onto the next group before they start firing at my chariots. Send you guys in. Finish off the chariots. Graphics certainly have improved. The game will seem to be running smooth. Yeah, I mean, it runs really nicely. Getting like a solid 90 FPS, pretty much. On kind of the wider shots here and like zooming on in we're getting 60 70 80. This was not supposed to happen. absolutely crushed them there chariots. into the skirmishes now Access. keep harassing those chariots we just want to keep them tied up not able to get a proper charge off We've broken these guys here let's Destroy make sure they're them. shattered though and again we want to take out as many of them as possible so there's a little remaining in the settlement garrison. Soldiers of Hachi. Might and 
The chariots didn't quite get the charge I was looking for there. They were a bit scattered. You guys have charged in. Now that charge actually may have just saved these guys. The shock of that charge on the flank. Poor effect. Chariots go into the armored Hittite skirmishes. Start pulling you guys along now. Here we go. Beautiful. That's huge. Poor effect. Yeah. I was a little worried to start there, but actually, I mean, the spears are holding wonderfully. Bound by duty. Wonderful stuff. These guys are struggling a bit over here, though. Push, 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 push. All gonna get over that side. Chariots. Form up. Charge back on in. May get a full break across their line as they see what's happening to the rest of them. Nice kick. Ship Luma. In you go. Strike with Get all these axes over here. With me, man. Not enough of a run up for the chariots there to really hammer on through. So just try and wheel them out as long as you don't get taken down. There we go. Get it out. Here we go. So yeah, pull the chariots here, slam at them from that side. These guys have rallied and come back. Stop pushing them from the other side. Here we go, and chariot slam in as well. Everybody gets stuck in. There's the victory. Yeah. <laughs> that was expected then. Top work, guys. Let's fast forward a little bit. It's all on the chariots trying to really dish out some additional damage here. If we can before they break off, we're not going to catch these guys. They're chasing back to the city. Job done. That went well. That went well. Is this the fleshy Tomb King DLC? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> well, this is this is what this is how the Tomb Kings. This is like prequel to the Tomb Kings while well, they had flesh. So it's it's a it's a prequel game. I don't think we're going to catch any more of them. Now they're done. End battle. Close victory. Oh. Super loom. You don't mess about. Although it looked like you were... Getting hit there a little bit. All my units survived, which is good. We lost 230, which I think is, yeah, solid. They lost 1,099. So, okay, yeah, so it was it was definitely the settlement garrison. Okay, so settlement garrison was sallying out, and they had a little army there as well. Right. Yeah, I was saying, we took out the outpost, or the, the, the fort garrison, so they weren't joining in. But they obviously, yeah, deployed the settlement garrison over that, over with where... They deployed this army over where the settlement garrison was reinforcing through. So they're yeah, sallying out. You're sallying out with the army, and then those guys come in as reinforcements. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah, they would. Why though? In that, 
in that sense though they, they don't come straight from the gates I, I don't understand take the resources diligence is rewarded Right, it's Shemzu Hor again, which is good because it means my plot to embezzle's gone through and medicine, I've gained but it is um, 1,400 gold. Beautiful. So that's topped me up nicely. 1,800 in there. Chief of the Royal Bodyguards is gone. I am going to want to embezzle again. So let's get friendly with you. In high standing, owe it to each other to be what else has happened? Oh, affinity with the forest. Yes, we're now going to get another uh, god to worship. Good. Another god uh, dedication slot so we can worship others. I haven't really had a chance to look at that. Shupaluluma. I bet I'm going to get screwed enemy. over with the order resolve. Oh, I was still going for that. I've still got to wait another turn. The breach. Still medium casualties, although I miss... I don't know if it flags up any of these until then. Yeah, I've got to leave. I've still got to wait another turn. Damn. Hunger so they're not quite dead yet. I've got I've got the time, though. I've got four turns, and I'll get a load of wood and stone, which will be phenomenal. I am going to bring Hunger over Timulu Luma, just in Hunger case we need some additional troops to tip the scale. I need anger and discipline. Um, yeah, go for more tribes. That's fine. Hatusa, we're getting all that in. Um... That's the barley field. Yeah, you know what? I am I am going to rush that through. Get me that barley field in. Uh, I'd like to get that in. The bakery, because that's more food income, happiness, and workforce growth. Uh, what do I need for that? Wood. So really, I need to wait until I complete that objective. Uh, I can upgrade some of these. Let me just come over here and check that we've got... Stuff like, again, we need wood. <laughs> get more resources in that can be upgraded have we got outposts in over here we've got the monuments that's fine we've not been i'm surprised we're not being threatened down here by the others that's supposed to kick off i mean these guys our vassals have done us a solid job karunta has gone up here though and take uh Gorodon. i'm a little bit worried about their future oh, with karunta going going in there although he's kind of split between them so maybe they're going to keep busy. I mean, it, it's in my best interest to keep these guys alive because they'll act as a buffer against me and Karunta. And eventually he's probably going to come for me. Vassal down here. I don't know quite how you're still alive, but you're you're doing all right, um, Tuana. You're doing all right for now. I'm pending actually what we've got to do. Inspired Barters. Join me. You were giving we me stone and discuss. food for bronze and gold. Um, I am... Um, I am not going to renew that for now, actually. I'm going to leave it and just see if we can cope. Diplomacy is giving me 200 bronze right now. Yeah, so we are, we are bleeding. We need to get some bronze. Where is some bronze? That's really where I need to consider some expansion. This guy over here. And wood. I am listening for now. You are currently giving me my... That's why you're giving me my bronze. Okay, yeah, so, uh, but I don't have any treats with you, so you may be prime for conquest soon. <laughs> I have to go after you. Is there any bronze over here? We want to go get that gold one for sure. That's food. Yeah, that's bronze through my... Vassal, actually. I am grateful for the chance who... to express my admiration. I can demand resources if I want to, but it will upset them. Um, I could do a barter agreement here for more bronze. Uh, they like wood, though, so I need to get that up. That's fine. Okay, good to know where I can get some more from. What other options have we got? Um, and not a lot. Very limited. Oh, there's bronze over here, which has been raised. So, yeah, it's going to be swooping on up over here. And, yeah, I could vassalize some of this, but I think I want to conquer most of it spoken. myself because it's going to give me direct control over those resources. For sure. So, yeah, Karinta, if you want to take that, I will, um, I'll break you later. I need to take that back for stone. 
Is that all we can do? No, court discounts. Oh, we set army wages, yeah, because we've got um, Demolumium up. In as the high commander. Um, axe and club units. Yeah, that's fine. On the discount. Unsigned skill points. Shibu Luma. Food upkeep this army. Cares for the people. Ooh, that's nice. That one is available, right? Four and four and four. Yeah. I rank 16 to get that. I'm going to get XP per turn this general. Yeah, okay. Get rid of that and pop that in. That should hopefully be good. And then I was looking at this one, wasn't I? More, more, Even more replenishment. To be fair, he's all about replenishment. So if we turbocharge, that'd be great. Charge yeah, at them. That's fine. Right. Let's end the turn. What do I think of Ursu? I actually haven't played Ursu yet. I'd like to do like a first look at him at some point. I'd like to do some more first looks, actually. I was kind of hoping I'd have more time over the last like couple of weeks, but it's been super busy. Rip my uh, ally over here. Yeah, I'd like to check him out because apparently he he's meant to be pretty pretty fun to play as. Should be some bronze in Cyprus, but they've got sea people harassing them. Okay. I mean, we could have a holiday home. You're offering me 6,000 food and you're, um, in return for 746 gold. Okay. Uh, I mean, I could do it, but I've already got a, a stockpile of 13Ks worth of food. So no, not right now. Well done, Vassal. Yeah, you brought up your 20 stack. Nice, as we love to see it. I mean, my Vassals still aren't, aren't necessarily as useful as I'd like them to be, but they are... They are being fairly useful so far. Oh, you're going to come... Really, you're going to come attack me there? Right, I was like, why is that giving you such a solid balance... Balance of power against me because your troops are all fresh and mine are all weakened. <laughs> Tatamaru. Tatamaru. Should try and retreat. Please say you can't. Oh, good. Unfortunately, it means I won't have recruited any extra troops, though. I ain't going to risk that. Fresh troops against my depleted lot. Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Join. Aggressor. Oh, these are sea peoples. Yeah. Join. Join. Oh, yeah. The invaders. I don't know why I need that many. Vigilance demands. This there. Yeah, they don't hold any territory. You can't trade with them or treat with them. They just come to get you. They just come to get you. There's the uh, bronze, bronze, and bronze all through Cyprus. Okay, so that is, um, yeah, bronze central to go go through and conquer. If we can get to the coast, we're definitely sailing over there on bronze on tour. How's this looking now? Oh, there we go. That's what I was hoping for. We are going to lose one of the Hattusan swordsmen. I think if we fight this though myself, I will... Struggle. But we'll see if I can just bring you guys closer and maybe that will make it count. I mean I won't lose the unit. No, I'm still gonna lose it. Damn. Yeah, I'd lose way more though if I fought this myself, I reckon. Because all we've got right now is a wall breach. Ooh, 
Rip Swordsman. Must be done. Oh, there we go. Bye bye. I am proud of you, men. Well done. Rip the Hattusen Swordsman. I'll try and get some more of you. Although that would have saved me some bronze. Upkeep, I'd have thought. Occupy. We've lost our diplomacy. Our Beautiful. Wooden stone. Topped up nicely. They are destroyed. Lovely. The thousand okay, we're getting some new ones in there. We are called to noble work. Right, I want to request an embezzlement yes. and I'm going to do it against still, Corinta. No, no qualifications. You have my support. And yeah, I'll try to boost that. So I need to go in here and request connections. I can do it next turn and I get three actions, which will be phenomenal. Uh, I couldn't have changed attackers there in that siege there because... Um, we would have needed siege equipment. made them cheaper and if I send Blue Luma in there as well where can you go you're in force march touching me costs a hand Won't touch I'm always ready. um gains movement range yet go up here gain some additional and then come around the top nice so this is all about food what have you got in here hall of records for influence oh wow yeah we definitely need some influence in here Eastern Hittites versus Hittites. So right now with our influence being this low, it cripples our resource income. So we need to get that sorted. So actually having the Hall of Records is a big boon. Um, that gives us more legitimacy as well, actually, if we upgrade that. Art school, happiness and influence. Yeah, I'm actually fine with that. More resource production. The barley field. That's okay. Enables the recruitment of native recruitment office. Armored Antolian swordsman. Okay. I'm assuming over here it'll be the staff. Infantry housing. Is that going to be Hattusen swordsman? Yeah. So the native is going to be the Kaskin axeman. Yeah. And the infantry housing is going to be my Hattusen. My Hattusen. Yeah, my Hattusen and my Hittite troops. So that's what I want to do if I want to get more of the swordsmen. Target yard, two St. Archers and Slingers. Yeah. We've got the defences up now. We'll bronze this province. More gold. We don't have any bronze production in this province, so no point doing that. Gold and food are going to be... I oh, do want to get the bakery in. Let me do that. And then let's go for that as well. More of those is all we need more workers, don't we? That's fine. We can untake some pretty substantial uh invest investment in our infrastructure here because we've got loads of wood now. That's gonna go quickly. Uh yeah, more food. Let's get that in there. Let's get food in there. I would not mind building... Yeah, we've already got the Karis building. That's good. Could upgrade that. Any more resort? We can go for more food. Yeah, do that. Do that. I want to claim that. Um, That's the native recruitment office. Um... For my people. We can't move this turn, Warrior so. King. Could put uh Lewin Swordsman. How do they compare to my Hittites? My Hittites are better morale, attack, and defense. Yeah, they're better all round. On Axemen. Compare them to the swords. Then to the axes. Okay, they're pretty decent. Okay, I'll take one of the Isawan one axemen. Heed my summons. Wisdom. And so I'll justice. leave that building in there for now. 
We get that if we had. I know we're already building it. Derp. Um, do you have the additional wood? Have some quarters, siege holdout time. Oh no, but you can get the refugee center here. Chuck the refugee center in there. Go on then. Yeah. We just lost out on the bronze. Um, you like all that? I don't really want to hit my wood production, so we'll do we'll do gold because yeah, we can afford that comfortably. Can I up this deal? Ah, they don't actually have any bronze available. I mean, apparently I can propose that again. We see eye to eye. Okay, let's just chuck it through. Anybody not care about bronze? Yeah. I, fight. I would be happy to hear your suggestion. Okay, well, I need... Let, let's say I'd like 100 bronze because then I'll be positive on it. Uh, you don't really care for gold, but that's what I'm going to offer you here. There we go. Lovely. This nice. Yeah, gold we can afford to bleed. And food we got a nice buffer on. Lovely. Yeah, you want to upgrade. Um, I'm going to say no for now. Let's check my outposts, actually. They're all building up. Okay, let's get a temple in here. Ancillary. Stop our ledger. Chuck it in. There oh, with the current weapon. Yeah. Um, okay. The current what? Can that only be done by Tim? Uh, by Shibluma, rather. Yeah, we'll give you the club. You can't go on the chariot, but Shibluma can. King of Hati. There we go. You can't have a shield with it though. Nice. Ever prepared. Okay. Reduce your upkeep some more, please. Production available at her two, sir. Yep. There is, certainly. Influence is fine right now. A bit higher wouldn't go amiss. <clears throat> Having the temple or the grand temple would also be really nice. Um, Refugee center, food in color. I'm going to go for the new scribe stand, I think. Just more influence right now. That's all we can do. Right. One more intern. Tim Luma is indeed my Tim for the campaign. There must always be a Tim. And yeah, there aren't agents um, in this game. Uh, you can still spy on other factions, though, via going to Diplomacy. And there's a button on the top right of the Diplomacy panel at the bottom that for 200 gold gives you vision over uh, a chosen uh, other faction for 10 turns. So you can do that. Need to deal with these guys next. Yeah, they're fleeing. They're fleeing. They know I'm going to go in there and smash them next. And that is exactly what I'm going to be doing. Civilization prospers. Oop. Guiding hand. No. OK. 
Okay. Yeah, Karunta, you... Oh, wow, you've gobbled up. Wow. You have wasted no time gobbling up my poor old vassal. History Scanian will uh, Phrygians. Yikes. Yeah. If I don't manage to get a good chunk of peace with you next time. I will unite this land. I'm going to need to try and. Uh... Yeah, consolidate. If we if we don't have to face Karinta in this civil war, we've got seven turns of it going on. Uh, I mean, Karinta is gaining legitimacy, but I'm still well above. I'll deal with these guys next and then look to perhaps push Karunta back. Might need some forces down here soon. I think, looking at the spread, if we can just bleed some food, we can actually afford to give I will him a reasonable army. And there are some the decent troops to recruit here. Well, like the, the spears only cost food upkeep. Okay, some of the axemen cost some bronze. But we can get swordsmen and spearmen. So I'm going to keep Tim here, actually. My people come first. I'm going to send Shibaluluma over there. These guys, where is your where's your territory? Oh, you're over here. Yeah. I don't really want to push that far. So actually, I just need to keep you guys busy and at bay until I can deal with you properly. So I'm going to swing Shibaluluma that way. Either we'll chase those armies or we'll move Shibaluluma over towards Karunta. And then we'll use uh, Timaluluma up here to hold this eastern block. Because that should be where all the enemies are concentrating from. Either over here or in this kind of area. So we... We've managed to get ourselves out of the hole that we were in. I serve Hati. Get the upkeep production Ever now right. positive. Uh, and then, yeah, we're going to make our move over here. I wonder if I can lure them back, though. If I go into ambush, and I'm not at full strength. Stay out of sight. Be able to reach it next turn. Of heart. Keep so your eyes open. In you come. Always diligent. Let's get I shall reap spears. The mighty crop. It's all these guys that I really want to get in, but they cost too much right now. Uh, vassal units, no, you cost bronze, so I'm going to avoid that. I wouldn't, if I'm going to bring in anything, it'd probably be more chariots. Four action available. Right, we're going to go here. We're going to request connections, which gives me three core actions. I'm going to go over to Karunta, and I'm going to whisper in your ear, sweet nothings. You found the key to my which means heart, I can then. I, I, quite literally, yeah, that was the plan. I'm going to do the same thing again. Gossip. So the next turn, I can try and improve my plot power. Um, which, yeah, we should get up to tier 5. And it should give us about a 75, 80-ish percent success chance. And that should give us 1,400 gold. Right. Another end turn. And I think we're going to wrap things up for Shibaluma Luma today. Those watching on Twitch, we're going to be jumping on over to Baldur's Gate 3 with the boys. Hello, Poppet. You want non-aggression. Kisu want uh what nah. Um he, I mean I I can't I feel like you're busy with these guys down here anyway. But I can't afford you know, I'm gonna say yes because I've got I've as I've explained plans that I want to go to the northwest really and also west against Corinthian next. Once the civil war's over and we're in a state of peace. Okay, right. Well, we will wrap things up I here will not squander people's faith. for today, and we'll pick up next stream and next recording episodes. Striking um, Anguana, uh, Anguwa rather, and what have we got down here? Aggression. It's the shrine of Rino we're building up. These two, Hello. both down here. Hello, <laughs> they're so friendly. Away, Go away, please. We're going to build up this army. They'll probably a cause a bit of destruction and devastation down here, but then we'll move south. So, yeah, we will kick things off. I imagine with a straightforward, hopefully, order resolve. Just the chariots of Shulunum himself being wrecked in this one. We'll pick things up, order resolving this, and carrying on the rest of our campaign next time. Until the next one, hope you enjoyed. Take care, and ciao for now.